What's up, tubers? Welcome back to the channel. We've got another What's in the Box video for you. Today we're working with the Ravel 125th scale Foose Designed 65 Chevy Impala. This, uh, I've been inside this kit and peeked a little bit. It's supposed to be a nice build. It looks like it's going to be a good kit from what I've seen. Um, I'm going to, of course, make some changes to it. Uh, we'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's pop the lid, flip it. Check it. Uh, yeah, this was a Hobby Lobby score, 16 bucks. Cannot beat that 40% off sale. So, pull this stuff to the side and look at the manual instructions first. Pretty basic, standard Ravel. You know, uh, it's a little bit thicker than normal. It's supposed to be a. Uh, it's a a little bit higher of a parts count, a lot of detailed pieces. Uh, you know, they go through the part name, suggested colors, uh, engine, assembly, different options for what you're going to use. It comes with uh, the, the wheels and tires that it came with. I am not going to be using. Um, we might as well just jump right into that. The ones that it came with were, I mean, it's a good looking tire wheel you know it's definitely got a neat tread pattern to it it's got a good profile but those wheels just will not look good for what i'm going for for my build idea so instead i'm going to be using one of the sets off of the uh ravel es escalade kit oh, words already um a little bit taller well, quite a bit actually taller of a wheel about the same width, um, but baskets, you know, that's just going to look so much better for what I'm after with this. So we'll go ahead and pull those off to the side, get them out of the way. Like I said, I've already kind of been in this kit to sort of see if those are going to work. The uh, decal sheet looks really nice. It's got rotors, brake rotors very cool uh you know engine flags um there's an instrument cluster the old school impala it was huge had a couple of impalas in my time loved each and every one of them uh white walls if you so choose those may not they're not going to be used on this but they'll probably be used somewhere else so i will scan those and put those into my collection of scan decals We'll go right to the body. Looks good. You know, it looks nice. Um, it's got a little bit of scratches on it because I've had it for a while. It's been in and out of the box several times. I just haven't found the right color for it, which I have. I've got um, a couple. I've done a test of some uh, black, white, and red primers to see which is going to look the best. There's those triples. Good looking car. The one I had measured in it measured in at close to 18 feet long. Two door, bow to stern, is 17.8 feet long, something like that. Just ginormous. And it was a boat floating down the highway. Floating down the highway. Big old 396 pushing it. So the body looks good. The uh, roof has a, in case you wanted to do the headliner, you know, paint it up. It's got a detail in there already. Nice raised uh, Super Sport and engine flag emblems, as well as the rear emblem is raised. Uh, this thing is filthy. Uh, the underside, the carriage, also looks pretty nice. It's got some very prominent details that, you know, those will paint up good. Get some good shadowing going on there. Uh, the interior tub, half piece with door cards, which have a textured, textured look to them, as well as the, uh, what do they call that? Pleated, I think. Looks good. That'll, those will paint up really nice. 
multiple belt system, pedals, and more of the rear seats in the interior. Looks like, no, those aren't seat belts. Correction, my bad. So, we'll uh, keep moving here with what's open, anyways, for now. Uh, suspension components, front suspension. I like it when they do that with it all put together. It's it's solid too. It's thick. Feels nice. That's gonna go in and assemble really nicely. Oh, it looks like there's options for lowered too. Oh, very cool. Okay, like the uh, what was it? The um, El Camino that I just built, just finished, that had the same system where you have two different styles. Yeah, you can see right there, there's coil springs and coil springs that are, those are clearly much shorter, so that's pretty cool. Huh, don't know how that's going to work in the wheel well, but whatever, we'll make it work. Um, I don't know what engine this thing is supposed to have. I'm sure it probably says somewhere, but those are some pretty big heads and valve covers. Those look like the uh, big block ones that I had have that rounded slope look. Very cool. <clears throat> Some hoses, uh, you know, air conditioning and evap returns. Details. Definitely got tons of details. Speaking of details, the dashboard, if you were not going to use the decals, it looks really nice. All of the... Uh, Gauges and stuff in there are really good. Those will, again, toothpick paint really well. The dash mat, which is also kind of cool. If you were going to go for a weathered build, you can, you know, crack that and chip it up. Uh, engine halves, brake booster halves, hinges, stock steering wheel, uh, other loose parts out, out of the way here. More just wheel backs and stuff that I had taken apart trying to see if my idea was going to work. And I'm going to make it work. <coughs> We're going to get these things on this car. Oh my gosh. Yes, please. Compared to that. Yeah, for sure. Couple of ginormous bucket seats. I mean, those are those are made for Americans. <laughs> hey, comfort, built for comfort. Half of the rear axle. I'm sure the other half is in here somewhere. I sure hope it is. Like I said, I've been in this kit several times. Kind of just just sort of waiting for the right color to jump out at me and. You know, finish the rest of the low, low, low project I've been working on. A big giant hood. Looks good. Got some detail underneath the um, heat shield. It's got a raised texture to it. Same with the firewall. It's got good, good raised details. Battery. Not sure what that is. Probably maybe part of the air conditioning or something. Don't know. Uh, hmm, I'm not seeing that other axle half. Let me, let me look, actually. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, never mind. It is, where did I see it? Right there. So it's got the pumpkin as a separate piece. So, you know, you could paint that up a different color. Paint the rear a different color, you know, like the like Jeepers do. To show off that your pumpkin's got something special in it. And then more engine components, detailed separate pieces, which is always really nice for individually painting. Comes out so much nicer. And a water pump, big wide distributor that'll be easy to drill out and wire. And a coil, separate coil. Huge carburetor. Look at that thing, it's gigantic. So that's the top of it, and then there's a the base of it. So that goes on there. It looks like it's a double pumper. 
Mm-hmm. The starter. Big giant dual exhaust. No cats. Just the just the cans. Radiator and seat backs. Uh, the chrome tree that has oh neat. That's that's a cool air filter. I like the way those look. And those gigantic valve covers. Wow, this thing is just a beast, beast of a car. I don't know, never had it weighed. And then the reds, here's those trademark, you know, iconic Impala cat eyes. And then, ha, stand back. I'm doing science. <laughs> the unopened chrome tree that has this glorious Impala grill. Wow, that is shiny. But that'll look really good. Uh, you know, put some black wash in there, give it some different colors. Hmm, are there, yes, there are lenses to go in there, clear lenses to paint up, so that'll look good. Um, so many chrome pieces. Ooh, knockoffs. Nice, I'm not sure where those will work. I wonder if they'll work on these. Probably, I'm pretty bitching. Uh, a bunch of, you know, chrome accessory stuff. I mean, not accessories, but like the door handles and the mirror and the shifter. That weird thing that goes in between the rear seats. Uh, and there's one set of the wheels that it comes with. Foose designed. Ooh, a separate piece um, horn ring. That's cool. And then this center console that why who would chrome a center console uh, I don't know he's still a guy that worked in a chrome shop dipping stuff you'd be surprised at what people bring in there to have dipped it was pretty cool knowing somebody that worked in a chrome shop too <laughs> so but whatever all uh, easy off that and then paint it you know interior color paint to match and then lastly the uh, clear parts single piece uh, individual windshield and gigantic rear window quarter glass looks like a some kind of reservoir probably like a water reservoir which in the past I've seen I found that painting those use a let's see if I have one here yeah just a green highlighter green highlighter in there and it gives it that sort of translucent look so it actually looks more like chemicals instead of just green paint uh, dual headlights and then like we saw earlier the uh, front turn markers and that about does it might want to open the trunk up to put that in there boom 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 handmade those scratch built just made a box wrapped it in some uh, this is left over from my TV days. It's gaffer tape. This roll is about this big around. I'm almost out. I might have to actually buy another roll of this stuff. It's cool. It's um, just like duct tape, same strength, but it's a cloth. And it looks, I mean, it looks almost identical to felt that they use on speakers. I've used it several times. <laughs> I'm pretty bummed that this roll is that small. I mean, it was gigantic. I need to source another one of those. And that about does it for the uh, well, Foose Impala that I'm going to make it not a Foose Impala. Make it my own. And, uh, put the, I'll put a picture up here of the blue that I've found. It's metallic, Rust-Oleum metallic blue see how that looks and uh, so that about does it we'll do a build slideshow um, of the actual assembly eventually